everybody so today's video is going to be a January favorites video and this is the first of 2018 so I'm like really excited I have filmed every single favorites video last year apart from September and December and this year I'm aiming for every single month because they're my favorite videos to watch and also to film um, I know they're not everyone's favorites but I film videos that I enjoy filming so that's what we're doing today so there's not actually that much stuff. There's kind of some makeup-y bits, skincare, fashion, and also some revision and food favorites. So there's a mix of different things, but let's get straight into the video. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with makeup. And I think this kind of goes without saying for me because, you know, I've just talked about these two palettes quite a lot over the month of January. And it's the Naked Heat palette and the Soph X Makeup Revolution palette. So this is what I got from my friend Steph for Christmas and literally used it every single day up until my birthday and I use it like nearly every single day now. Look at the shades, like doesn't this to you just look like the perfect eyeshadow palette? It's got so many transition shades as well as different colours and it's got a black here so you can kind of deepen the crease, that kind of thing. It just has absolutely everything, mattes and shimmers. It is perfect and... I'm just, I just love this. Like the pigmentation and everything is perfect. I am gonna be doing a whole video on this palette. So if you wanna see that then stay tuned to my channel, but I am gonna do like a whole eye look on it and probably other ones as well. Also the Naked Heat, I have already done a video of this up on my channel. So I will link that down below if you wanna go and watch that. But the, this is just the most warmest toned palette I've ever seen in my life. I literally wear this the days I'm not wearing the other palette. So I would say I alternate between them two palettes like every other day. Um, but the pigmentation is amazing and just it's just nice. And I think you can mix them all together to kind of get like a really nice look on your eye it's kind of nicely blended but I think when you mix them together it often looks quite the same. So actually recently over the past week I've just been um, literally just shoving on one shade on my eyelid and it looks really nice because each shade is so different so when you put it on your eyelid like every single day you look different so yeah this is versatile I thought I had to mention those otherwise I would literally be lying in my favorites video which is not on um, the next two makeup things are actually makeup brushes the first one is a bamboo brush and this is from Amazon you know just type in foundation brush on Amazon this will come up in fact was this from Amazon yeah i think it was um it's just the perfect kind of dense brush for putting on your makeup you can pack it on like that the foundation or you can blend it in nicely like this it's literally the perfect foundation brush couldn't ask for more and then i also just wanted to mention this brush this actually came from the naked heat palette and it's just a really really nice blending brush i don't actually use this for eyeshadow but i do use this for blending out my eyeshadow if you know what i mean like i don't directly use it for applying eyeshadow but i do blend out my eyeshadow and it just looks so nice i just have to say that um next we have a couple of skincare favorites and i am doing a skincare routine video so i'm not going to talk about these products too much because it's going to be in detail in that video but the first one i wanted to mention is the ordinary alpha lipoic acid this has been a game changer for my skin. If you wanna hear why, then you know go and check that video out, which should be coming up on Saturday. Um, it's amazing. It stings a little bit, but it does wonders for your skin. So yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit more on Saturday. But yeah, next one is this Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I use this in the morning before I kind of take it off. You know, you know, in the morning when you wake up, you've got a little bit of makeup still left on from the previous night. Um, despite removing it, there's still that little trace. So you just pop this on, makes my skin super soft, gets me really ready for the day, and it just has that nice base for makeup afterwards, and I really love using this. So yeah, that's a really good one. Um, now I've got a few kind of randomy things, and the first random thing is this Skinny Dip Glow Shimmering Body Mist, and this is actually something my friend Leanne got me for my birthday, and I've used this every single day just to kind of spray um like here like on my neck and it just kind of gives that nice little shimmer it'll be perfect for summer just to kind of spray on your arms and stuff it's not like pungent in glitter it's just that nice natural shimmer so that's why i've loved using this so yeah 
that's a good favourite. Um, also, by the way, Aubrey got me this. My boyfriend got me this Naked Heat palette if I didn't state. I just needed to state that. Um, and then another thing that Leanne got me is this. Um, and this is a ring light. And I've used this every single time I want to take a selfie. Um, yeah, it's just so good. You connect it to your phone, so you just clip it on your phone. In fact, where is my phone? It's here. Yeah, you just clip it on your phone like this, and then you can just take a selfie. Literally, game changer. I don't have to look for perfect lighting um, or anything like that. That just gives you good lighting wherever you are, whenever you are. So yeah, really loved using that. And then a revision favourite, which is kind of weird. I was debating whether to put it in this video, but I thought, you know what? I do a lot of revision videos on my channel, so I will. I've loved, and I know this sounds absolutely like almost insane, I loved making cue cards. How can anyone love making cue cards? I don't know. I just liked making cue cards because I look, I've made so many of them this month ready for my mock exams. Um, but I've just really enjoyed it. And I think it's because it's so much quicker than making notes. I am going to do a video on how I make my cue cards, like what information I write on them, that kind of thing, like how to revise sort of thing at some point. So if you want to see that, then let me know down below or whatever, um, because I'm going to do that because it's honestly so much quicker than like making notes. Um, and it's actually so much more effective and I've never done this before and now I'm actually surprised. So. Um, next up is a fashion favourite and this is a hoodie I've wanted to wear every single goddamn day. I tell you, like literally, I just want to wear it every day. I got this from Primark a couple of weeks ago or a week and a half ago and it looks like this. You might have seen the vlog that I showed it in. What vlog was that? I don't know, it was a vlog. It was a vlog where it was in collaboration with Firmu. But anyway, look at this. I just love it. Like, it's just a plain grey... Oh, God, sorry. It's just a plain grey hoodie. It just looks so nice. And then it's got the words Brooklyn in red written on it. Very simplistic. I love simple things. They just look the best. And I better... I better be in focus or else. Um, and it's just so soft and comfy. It's the perfect length... I just can't express to you how much I love this hoodie. It's literally, I'm so glad I got it from Primark. So there we go. And then finally, for food's favourites, Crunchy Nut Cornflakes. God, who doesn't love Crunchy Nut Cornflakes? I just love them. We in this house here, present time, don't eat crunchy nut cornflakes for breakfast or sugary cereals for breakfast because, like, they've got so much sugar in them. They're just ridiculous and it's not a healthy start to the day let me tell you but you know i'm not hating on you if you eat them for breakfast don't you worry you do whatever you want to do this is just me um just saying before i get like shouted out in the comments but i just they just taste so nice i've had these for pudding so i would have like my tea and then i would have a few of these for pudding um with or without milk they just taste so nice like i wish i could have these for breakfast but i would just feel so guilty um so yeah, just had to mention those. And then YouTuber favourite of the month is Kathleen Lights. I've loved her videos. I will link her channel down below for you to check out. It's mainly makeup based videos. But yeah, I've really enjoyed her videos. I've also, getting my Canon G7X was also a favourite. Um, my birthday itself was a favourite. The day itself um, was a favourite. So it's quite, I just kind of want to include a few event favourites within my favourite videos as well. Um, um, what else happened in January? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, I loved it when Charlie came over and I vlogged him coming over. He's a little dog. He's cute. Um, so yeah, I vlogged him coming over. So if you want to go and watch that vlog, then do it. And I really enjoyed that. But anyway, so this is my January favourites. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the things that I have been loving over January. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.